What is chickweed? This flowering weed is thought to treat skin conditions. Chickweed, Stellaria media, is an annual plant native to Europe that has become naturalized in North America, where it is mostly considered a weed. However, to herbalists and practitioners of alternative medicine, chickweed is a potent and long-standing folk remedy believed to offer significant health benefits. The flowers, leaves, and stems of chickweed have long been used to make oral decoctions, extracts, and teas. Today, chickweed is more commonly used in a topical ointment form to treat a variety of skin conditions. The consumption of chickweed, while common in some cultures, is typically avoided due to the risk of side effects. Chickweed is recognized by its hairy stems, oval leaves, and small, daisy-like blossoms with five crenellated petals. Also known as chicken wort, crashes, moran, mouse ear, satin flower, starwood, tongue grass and winter wheat. Before going into the video, we've just printed more copies of what is probably the best plant medicine book ever written, The Lost Book of Herbal Remedies. You'll find 800 plus beneficial plants and remedies in The Lost Book of Herbal Remedies, How to Recipes of Tinctures, Teas, Decoctions, Essential Oils, Syrups, Salves, Poultices, Infusions, and many other natural remedies that our grandparents used for centuries. What's also special about this book is that it has between two and four color pictures for each plant and detailed identification guidelines to make sure you've got the right plant. So get your copy by clicking the first link in our description. Now let's get into today's video. What is chickweed used for? Chickweed's use in folk medicine has been recorded as far back as the 16th century despite concerns about toxicity. Chickweed is not banned by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, although it is included in the FDA Poisonous Plant Database. When applied topically, chickweed is believed to treat the following skin conditions. Burns, contact dermatitis, diaper rash, eczema, insect bites, itchy skin, psoriasis, rashes, wounds, splinters, rabies and joint pain. However, to date, there is little evidence that chickweed can treat any medical conditions. Most of the current research has been focused on chickweed as a weed rather than a medicinal herb. With that being said, chickweed has significant concentrations of bioactive compounds, including flavonoids, phenolic acid, saponins, coumarins, and terpenoids. Alternative practitioners have long contended that these compounds are potent enough to render health benefits. Weight loss The one area in which chickweed has been studied is in the treatment of obesity. Two studies, one published in the journal IU in 2011 and the other in BMC Complementary and Alternative Medicine in 2012, reported that obese mice fed an extract of Stellaria media for four weeks experienced weight loss despite being fed a high-fat diet. Saponin, a plant-based compound that creates a soap-like foam when mixed with water, is believed to be responsible for this effect. Some believe that it has emollient properties and can effectively trap circulating fat, including cholesterol. As promising as the findings seem, saponin is also one of the ingredients that pose possible health concerns. In addition, the results of research done in animals cannot be assumed to apply to humans. Possible side effects When used topically, chickweed is generally considered safe and well tolerated. However, some people exposed to chickweed have been known to develop a mild rash. People allergic to plants of the daisy family may be at higher risk. Allergic reactions to chickweed ointments are rarely serious and can usually be treated with an oral antihistamine, an over-the-counter 0.5% hydrocortisone cream, or nothing at all. It is unknown if chickweed can cause drug interactions. Warning. The greater concern arises with the oral consumption of chickweed. Saponins and nitrate salts, both found in chickweed, pose a risk of toxicity if eaten in excess. Although saponins pose a lesser risk in humans, the combination of the two has been known to cause poisoning, even in larger mammals such as cows. Symptoms of toxicity may include Stomach pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, rapid pulse, dizziness, weakness and cyanosis, bluish skin, nails, or lips. In rare cases, muscle paralysis, convulsions, and coma may occur. Death is rare. It is important to note that extremely large amounts of chickweed are needed for the herb to be toxic. With that said, the actual amount can vary based on the size, age, and pregnancy status of an individual. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, 
infants under 4 months are at the highest risk of harm from nitrate exposure, as are pregnant women at or near the 30th week of pregnancy. To this end, it is best to play it safe and avoid consuming chickweed in any form. This includes nursing mothers, who may pass compounds in chickweed to their babies through breast milk. Selection, Preparation, and Storage Outside of Japan, chickweed is generally not consumed as food. In the United States, it can be readily purchased as an ointment, salve, oral supplement, or liquid extract, as well as in the form of a variety of powders, teas, and dried herbs. There are no guidelines for the appropriate use of chickweed. Chickweed ointments are often sold as anti-itch creams and can be applied to the skin several times daily. Herbalists often recommend that fresh chickweed be blanched in 50% water and 50% white vinegar until soft and applied to wounds as a poultice. However, avoid applying the poultices to open wounds, since they will not only sting, due to the vinegar, but may pass contaminants through breaks in the skin. This is especially true given that chickweed is regarded by most as a weed and, as such, may have been exposed to pesticides, lawn fertilizers, or other harmful chemicals. If you do decide to take chickweed supplements, tea or another other oral product, do not exceed the dose listed on the product label. More importantly, let your healthcare provider know so that your condition can be monitored should an unforeseen side effect develop. And don't forget to check out the Lost Book of Herbal Remedies book where you'll find 800 plus beneficial plants and remedies on how to recipes of tinctures, teas, decoctions, essential oils, syrups, salves, poultices, infusions, and many other natural remedies that our grandparents used for centuries. What's also special about this book is that it has between two and four color pictures for each plant and detailed identification guidelines to make sure you've got the right plant. So get your copy by clicking the first link in our description.